Param Shanti Papuji. Welcome. We would like to discuss a topic with you today that worldwide scientists have been investigating. Is there life on Mars? We would like to know the full history of the planet Mars from you. When Lord Brahma created life on Earth, was life created on all other planets too? Were there souls there? Was there life there? Let's start by discussing if there is life on Mars. Yes, there was life on Mars in the past and it was very nice. Like there is life on Earth, there existed life on Mars. A deity named Mongol created the planet Mars with life on it. Every planet had life, Mars, Saturn, Mercury, and so on. However, life was in different forms. Some were made from five elements, others four, three, two elements or even one element. There was even a life in the sun. Can anyone imagine this? No one can imagine this. It does feel strange imagining life on the sun but we have heard about life on other planets. Let me tell you about Mars. We have heavy bodies on Earth made from five elements. Beings on Mars were very lightweight as the water and Earth elements were very light. These beings were very similar to lightweight beings on Earth in the Satyug era who were capable of flying. Also they have the power in thoughts and power in their souls. They have the capability to decide themselves when to die. When they desired can travel to the second dimension or third dimension. They could even travel to earth. They have purest stage of souls. So, there was very nice life on the planet Mars. However, a little while ago, as I have said in my other videos, Many souls came to Earth from other solar systems, galaxies, universes, and multiverses. They started different religions and advocated different philosophies. Therefore, they have lead various religious wars on Earth. Look at history and how many battles took place within the Roman Catholic religion. Even after our Mahabharata, non-believers from other planets has started religious battles on Earth. Similarly, beings from other planets has settled on Mars. Initially, they were lightweight bodies and have high technology. But on Earth a lot of physical things. Whereas on Mars, there were not as much. On Mars they were very advanced powerful souls. Papuji, was the civilization very high tech on Mars? Yes very high tech. Their souls were very powerful. As you were saying Bapuji, that 8,000 years ago the life was existed on Mars planet. Yes, you could say up to 8,000 years ago. So when the Mahabharata took place on Earth, 5,000 years ago, whether, there was life on Mars. Yes, also there was life on the moon 8,000 years ago. I have explained how big our solar system is in line with our religious scriptures. Outsiders from other solar systems, galaxies, and universes started attacks everywhere. Like approximately 4,000 years ago Ibrahim came to Earth and similarly after different religions started. This is when religious wars started on Earth. Similarly, there were many wars held on Mars during that time. They are highly advanced being and they had nuclear technology which led to its complete destruction of Mars planet. The beings who survived, went underground. So Bapuji, currently is there any water on Mars? There is water but underground in the form of ice. There is no water on the top of surface. As they had advanced technology, beings on Mars were able to detect that outsiders from other planets will attack and cause wars. They divided into two groups and started fight. For example on Earth always had a fight for righteous and non-righteous. Similarly, 8,000 years ago there was a big nuclear war that caused mass destruction. Due to earthquakes everything buried into the ground. Some survivors escaped to other planets. Whereas, others went underground. Some Mars beings came to Earth. Some people on Earth claim that they have come from Mars. Yes they have come. I have read a book, 
Life After Death, in which people claim that their souls can travel to Mars or Saturn. Yes the soul can travel to other planets in the three elemental body. Why the souls from Mars cannot tell us what has happened there in the past. Once they come to the Earth's atmosphere, they forget their past. A five elements cover take place around the soul in this atmosphere when the soul takes birth on Earth. But what happens if the soul is in three element form? In three element form, the soul still experiences heaviness of Earth atmosphere. So Bapuji, that is why they don't remember and can't recall their past experiences from Mars. So did the same thing happen on the moon? The moon was created by the deity Chandra Devta. There were human beings on the moon, just like us on Earth, but a better and lighter quality. Papuji, you once told us that Chandra Devta's whole family lived with him on the moon. Yes, however there were wars on the moon. Chandra Devta must have come to Earth 8,000 years ago. Souls escaped to other planets and some came to Earth. That's why I always said, immerse yourself into soul consciousness to know yourself and where you have come from. Which planet have you come from? Is it the Moon, Mars, Mercury, Saturn, or any other planet? Our religious scriptures state an example of Jupiter who was the guru of all deities. Jupiter was the creator of the planet Jupiter and lived there with his family. Like the Narayan Devta or Sun deity lived on the Sun planet. Yes the deity Narayan lived on the Sun and his body was made of the ether element. The soul can't be burned by fire. If the body is made of the fire element then it can't be affected by the fire. Right. The ether element cannot be burned by fire. Whoever has a body made of fire or ether element, then fire can't affect it. Today, on Earth have an invention of cloths that enable a person to go into the fire and not get burnt. A body made from the ether element can go anywhere, even to the center of the sun where hydrogen is exploding. Papuji, there is an interesting question here. When Lord Brahma started the creation and deities transformed into humans with heavier bodies, did the creation take place only on the planet Earth or did it start on other planets too? The creation started gradually on Earth first. Creation on other planets came much later. How long after Brahma's creation on Earth, did creation on other planets started? We can tell when the planets were created by deities. So Bapuji, deities created planets. But at what time creation started on those planets? Are there structures such as pyramids on Earth, on other planets too? Just as we have life on Earth, there was life on Mars. Mercury had lightweight beings made from three elements but prominently fire. Some people believe that Mercury could not sustain life because it is the hottest planet closest to the Sun. As is written in our scriptures, whatever is in the universe is within the body. If the fire element is prominent, then the body will consist of elements that can protect it from fire. The deity Bud, known as Mercury created the planet very wisely. He started a very big creation. So Bapuji, as the solar system was created by Brahma's thought power, do Brahma, Vishnu and Mahesh control all planets such as Mars, Saturn, Mercury and the Moon or do they control just Earth? As I have said before, Brahma, Vishnu, Shankar control and rule all the planets in a solar system. According to our religious scriptures, there are infinite of infinite solar systems so there are infinite of infinite Brahmas, Vishnus and Shankars. They must control all the planets within the solar systems. Our Mahadev lived in the Himalayas. The demons Guru Shukracha Arya also used to visit him from the planet Venus, traveling in his own plane. Brahaspati also used to visit Mahadev from Jupiter. Yes Brahaspati used to visit, as did Shukracha Arya and Shani Dev. They all traveled in their own planes. King Ravan had imprisoned Shani Dev. King Ravan had imprisoned all the creators of the planets for some time. After that time, they used to visit the planet Earth frequently.
science has not made enough technological advancements yet and does not have the right instruments. It only has instruments made from gross elements. In the past, the creators of the planets had instruments made from the supreme elements. The kind of instruments that could transport them in a moment to another planet when they desired. King Raven had an aeroplane made from the air element and not gross elements. At the beginning, those in the subtle worlds did not keep instruments made from gross elements. They used the power of their thoughts and recited mantras to create heavenly aircraft. After traveling around, they disposed of the aircraft. Papuji, those souls that have come from another universe or planet, completely believe that there is life beyond Earth. However, there are those souls on Earth who believe that there is nothing beyond Earth. Do the souls that believe there is life beyond Earth, have this belief because they have recordings in their mind? They feel they have come to Earth from some other place. There are different categories of souls. Those that have come from far, have recordings of their past in their souls. Given the divine knowledge, they understand it very quickly and are able to understand that life existed on other galaxies, solar systems, universes, and multiverses. Papuji, every episode of Ancient Aliens states that every ancient civilization that existed between 10 and 20,000 years ago, knew that they had come from a star and that they would eventually return to a star. This was their belief. After their death, even their coffins contained those things that would aid their journey back to their stars. Stars are very minor things. There are stars very near to us, like the ones four and a half light years away from Earth. They are called Alpha Centauri. The center point of our galaxy is 26,000 light years away. I just wanted to make the point that those souls who have come from other planets, have recordings so believe that the there is life beyond Earth. A soul will have a recording of where it has come from. Assume a soul has come to Earth from the great great universe. There are many souls that have come from the great great universe. Those souls have become suppressed in the human form. Even when given a little knowledge about the universe, they can very quickly understand that knowledge. On this Earth, there are the cells of 330 million deities from this solar system. Those cells do not have the power to understand the divine knowledge so they will never believe in it, not matter how much to try to explain it to them. Papuji, I am planning to make another video on great scientists such as Stephen Hawking's. However all these scientists have acknowledged that all the scientific advancements that they have made, have been as a result of help from a greater power from above. Aliens have helped them and given them knowledge whether it be in their dreams or thought experiments or any other system that people may not be aware of yet. This knowledge was given to them through these methods, whether it be Stephen Hawking's, Albert Einstein, Nikola Tesla, Ramanujan, or Socrates. Socrates claimed, at that time, that he was in contact with Shaitan. Nikola Tesla wrote a letter in the year 1900 that he was in contact with an alien who gave him knowledge. This is fascinating and people today may not fully understand the significance of this. Your points are absolutely true that life existed on all planets and that deities traveled to Earth and helped people. Not just angels but demons came to Earth too. There are many people on Earth who worship the devil. So Bapuji, will life start up again on other planets such as Mars, Mercury, and Saturn? Life still exists on these planets in three elemental body. Subtle world souls reside on other planets. There are many layers. As I have said before, our solar system is so full that there isn't even space to step foot in the subtle world. Bapuji even the Punar Janam Parlokic book states that from the depth of the earth to the Brahma of our solar system there are souls and souls everywhere. A vast amount of souls that have come from very far away places and muddled our solar system. So will there be life there again? Life already exists in the subtle world. The human life is nothing in comparison. The subtle world contains three elemental life forms. Beyond the three elemental, there is the two elemental and the single elemental body. 
Stephen Hawking, who just recently passed away, stated that within 600 years the Earth will change into a ball of fire and we will all have to escape from Earth. The question is that will people have to go and live on Mars? There is a very big difference in the language of science and the language of spirituality. How many billions of years has it been since our Earth was created? 1,240 Carib years. We have made a video on how the Earth was formed. 50 years of Lord Brahma's life has passed since our solar system was created. 50 years is one parag the earth was formed 1,240 carib years ago not one or 2,000 years ago. However, change is ongoing between Satyug, Trita Yug, Dwapar Yug, and Kal Yug. Papuji, do these four eras also occur on other planets? These effects gradually occur wherever there is mankind. The biggest effect took place on Earth, more than on Mars and other planets. Mars had lightweight beings with five elemental bodies. Did the theory of karma also apply there? The theory of karma applies to every single soul. It applies to Shiv, Mahashiv, and also to Param Mahashiv. Is it at every solar system, every universe, every place? Every single place. The creator of the galaxy, the creator of the Milky Way and the creator of the universe. It applies to everyone. Karm means a thought. A thought is a loss of power, hence karma will apply. So Bapuji, according to you, where are the creators of other planets such as Mars, Mercury, Saturn and Venus now? They have taken birth on Earth as human beings. I have said in many of my videos that the deity Shani, who is worshipped in many big temples, has taken birth as a poor man begging on the streets for money. Astrology has now failed. Why do astrologers speak such nonsense? Believe in the Almighty Authority. The deity Chandra had to take birth on earth because of his wrongdoing so how can he help anyone? The physical world does have a negative effect on the mind. Papuji, I heard that the book of astrology is a very old scripture. Yes very old. It was written during the first 50 years of Lord Brahma's life. It was written for the people of that time and it is not relevant today? Yes, times were very different when it is written. Today, we live in a democracy whereas in the past, kings ruled their kingdoms. Changes continually take place on earth. At the beginning, there were not even that many religions on earth. There was one religion and one ruler on earth. Everybody worshipped one god. There was one faith, one language, and one sect. Everything changes. Whether this is a solar system, galaxy, or any other place. Papuji, would you like to say anything else about life on other planets? As religious wars have taken place on earth, religious wars took place on Mars 8000 years ago. It is because of this that the population on Mars came to an end and that any survivors had no option but to go underground. There is life on Mars. Lastly Bapuji, will scientists ever be able to discover this life? Our science is nothing. Our science is insignificant in comparison to the technologies that other beings on other planets have developed. They have such advanced technology that their energy is ten times more powerful than light. The string theory and the discovery of the energy which scientists call the God particle is false. That is not the God particle, the source from which the universe was created. Scientists are just excited over nothing. This is the supreme fire element which is created from a reaction with the proton in hydrogen. It is not supreme light. Our universe, solar system, and galaxy, whether from Shiv, Mahashiv, or Param Mahashiv was created from supreme light. From supreme light, supreme elements were created and from supreme elements, elements. Science today is nothing in comparison. We can only hope for further clarity on this subject. It is inevitable that transformation will happen. 
transformation will take place in the whole multiverse. The Almighty Authority is Himself working secretly to give everybody the divine knowledge for attaining soul consciousness. You must know yourself. You are a soul. Every single soul contains a recording of its past. Become soul conscious and remember God, the Almighty Authority. Connect with Him through meditation and receive power from Him. The soul will become powerful and all karmas will be destroyed. In the end, your soul will return to where it has come from. Very good Papuji. You have given such a great message to all. Thank you so much Papuji. In the end, I would like to thank our viewers for watching this video. You can get the list of all playlists below. We have 1500 videos on our channel on various topics like life after death, creation of universe and multiverse, amazing world of ghosts, cocky avatar, secrets of karma and many others. Also, requesting everybody to like and share this video and subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Our app is available on Google Play Store named Bapuji Dashrath by Patel wherein you can get access to all our YouTube videos and playlists, books containing Bapuji's knowledge and other links. Do give your valuable views motivating us to keep making videos on new and unsolved topics. You can ask any questions or give any suggestions in the comment section below. Param Shanti